Welcome to my friends, indoor air quality and health of the occupants, there is a vital connection. Let us look at what is that connection and how can we improve the health of the occupants. Welcome once again, my name is Ejaz Kazi and today we are going to look at the vital connection between indoor air quality and the health of the people who are inside the building because we are talking about the indoor. So, indoor means within the building and large population of our country or within the globe is inside a building and hence the quality of air which they breathe is extremely important. That is the vital connection which we are going to reveal in this video. Please stay till the end of this video. Please subscribe my channel and spread this content to many of your colleagues, your contacts. Let us look at what is indoor air quality. Let us understand what is the indoor air quality. There are multi-dimensional measures of indoor air quality. It talks about the cleanliness. It also talks about the healthiness of the air. Generally, there are two parameters which we look at, temperature and the humidity. It also has to have the parameter of cleanliness, as I said, and it should, and it should also have the content of the pollutants in the air. So, what are the common indoor air pollutants? One, we are talking about the particulate matter. The, the tiny airborne particles are within the air which we can't see. Generally, they are there in the air. Then there are volatile components, you know, emitted by the household products or we talk about the carpet, we talk about the, the ceiling. These emit those VOCs, the pens also emit the VOCs. There are the molds and allergies. These are part of the, the air, right? Then there are redden, colorless, odorless gases which are present in the air, which can affect to our lungs and it is also linked to the common issues of lung cancers. Carbon monoxide. This is one of the major things. It is again a colorless gas. It comes from the combustion of fuels, the fossil fuels, one of the important pollutant which is affecting our health, tobacco, the smoke which comes from the cigarettes, you know, these are again very, very deterrent to our health. So, these are some of the common pollutants. I talk about the particular particulate matters. I talked about the gases, the carbon dioxide, monoxide, the smoke content, the allergies, the molds and the VOCs. Right? So, these are some of the things which are directly affecting our health. Now, what are the health implications of these? Uh, when I talk about these means the poor indoor air quality. So, we have issues of respiratory issues, uh, issues related to the asthma due to the pollutants. There are cardiovascular problems which are related to heart, the risk of heart. Then there are neurological effects it is basically the nervous systems, then there is issue as a set of cancer risk and also the mental health impact. It also adds to stress, it also adds to mental health wellness and it is directly then proportional to the productivity of the team which we are, which is sitting inside that area or office or whatever kind of the building space is used. How do we improve this air quality? One of the important things is to dilute these pollutants by having a proper ventilation. So, having more and more fresh air coming in, so they will dilute this. That's the first important strategy. Second important strategy is cleanliness of your HVAC system, your filters, your diffusers, all these parts, even the ducts, because these go and stick everywhere. So, HVAC system maintenance, its cleanliness is again an important thing. So, maintenance, regular maintenance and the cleanliness of HVAC system is another strategy to improve the air quality. After COVID, there is a huge demand of air purifiers. People use this, but we have to look at the right air purifier because nowadays people go and sell everything and anything as an air purifier. We need to look at how do we avoid the use of tobacco? How do we raise the awareness towards uh, no cigarettes? That is another important thing for improving the air quality. The last one is selection of the right material. So, we should see that the material which is used either during the renovation, 
during the construction or during the use availability of VOCs have to be reduced the material which you use it should have low content of VOCs of that we can take care when we choose the kind of material which we use in our day to day life there are various ways about how do I assess whatever measures I take what are the strategy or I adopt whether it is working or not I need to assess because unless I monitor I will not get the action plan so we would we must first look at what is the design part of ventilation system that is one assessment point you have to go on doing these IAQ assessments periodically that will give a proper feedback of what is happening and these assessments will give you what kind of goals we have to achieve and how do we achieve then if I have a goal this much this is the goal about my IAQ requirement where I am right now how do I go towards my goal what kind of things I should be able to do is what important one important part is education and awareness to everybody because one person cannot change you have to get the community together if you're talking about office everybody who is sitting in the office must know the importance of IAQ and they are also should be able to contribute to this journey otherwise it is going to be fruitile how do I monitor or sustain the indoor air quality regular as I said IAQ testing the air quality sample testing how do I take care of my ongoing maintenance inspection get the awareness of the people who are sitting inside the occupants install the IAQ sensors you know, a lot of technologies are coming up and engage professional for IAQ audits or assessment we have talked about let us look at some of the simple things which can help you to enhance your indoor air quality aloe vera one of the important point which you can use this is a very very uh, important plant which emits oxygen that helps to dilute this how do i take track the monitoring of iq i can put a lot of sensors which will give you the data air purifier again right choice of that is very very important people go on selling this you must be able to know the everything and anything about that air purifier uv lights are getting common which actually is able to sterilize the microorganism and they help in improving the air quality so these are some of the solutions which we can look at right and from this session i must look at at least three or four key takeaways first one we must understand there is a problem for iq and we should be able to prioritize our goal of achieving a right iq we must be able to look at what are the pollutants address those proper ventilation as i said cleanliness is again important thing choosing of low voc materials and regular maintenance regular cleanliness and one more important thing is education and awareness to everybody because we jointly can solve this problem thank you very much for your patient listening you can look at my digital course which is available on good installation hvc system which is also linked to end error quality these are the good practices which are used in HVC systems. The link is in the description box. Please take full use of it. Thank you very much patient listening. Please subscribe my channel. Follow me on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn and ajaskazi.com. Thank you very much.